Hey guys, and I hope you guys are doing okay today. Today I have a double dead out discussion video. I know you guys enjoyed it, so here's another one. Today I'll be discussing about why anti-looper killers make no sense in Dead by Daylight. Yes, honestly. Anti-looper killers. There's not a lot of anti-looper killers in this game, but I feel like most of them, like all these new chapters, are just really common now. So yeah, the devs are making anti-looper killers way more common. And I'm going to explain why that's a massive problem in the game. Tomorrow I will have a gameplay up for, uh, for you guys. I uploaded a gameplay in like two weeks, I believe. I'll be doing um, Coop the Grass Wraith Part 3. I know you guys enjoy that one, so stay tuned for that. I do appreciate it if you come along and watch. As usual, I love you all. And yeah, let's jump right into today's video, guys. So, in a nutshell, what anti loop is, it's a whole power based off killer which negates the survivor's skill in looping. So, it literally makes 1v1 for killer mostly favorable. That's why it's anti loop, right? Which, this is where the flaw li uh, lies, right? There's a massive flaw in this. Because, think of it. The devs are basing a whole power of 1v1 when the game is 4v1. Where's the logic there? Now I know you guys are probably thinking, well, don't killers win of 1v1? That's it. I get it, that makes sense, but a whole power of 1v1? What, so the, the devs are going to leave out the map pressure and the gen pressure and all of that? That's where the problem lives, because no sides are having fun here. Survivors aren't having fun because they're anti-loop, killers who are anti-loop. They negate your skill on looping. Like, let's say for example, a Freddy or fake pallets, right? Anti-loop. You don't have any telltale of what's real or fake, so you're guessing. Negates your whole skill. Doctor, when he shot you out of towel, you can't really do much about that. Negates your skill. Um, Freddy's blood pools, can't really do much about that. Once slowed down, negates your skill. <laughs> like, yeah, you can do stuff to counter them, like throw pallets down early, but you're not really using the skill. That's why I feel like they're boring to go against. They're easily to count. They're easy to counter, but it's boring because you can't use your own skill you've been playing the game for ages so all your hours of like looping don't mean shit you just have to pre-draw every pallet against these anti-loop killers which no one has fun doing and same for killer the killer's not gonna have a fun by just having survivors that throw down pallets early or even having a power that's only done for 1v1 not for gems because yes as i said the killer can win or the killer mainly wins if not yeah the only reason why a killer wins is sort of 1v1 but they have something to defend themselves with just 1v1 no map pressure or gem pressure that's why no one's having fun. The survivors are not having fun because they get your skill. And killers are not having fun because they can easily be countered by just doing gens and just through dropping every pallet. That's why there's a massive flaw in this whole idea of just 1v1ing power. Because no sides are having fun. So it's a net worth loss for everyone. Who's having fun? No one. I don't really have fun playing a killer like Freddy and just destroying survivors and like okay not let's not say Freddy because Freddy does have gen pressure built in with teleportation. Let's say a killer like um who clown let's say a killer like clown right clown has no map pressure at all yes he has their new potions but what, fucking two percent extra added speed or some shit like that five percent that's nothing you might as well run play with your food by that logic it just yeah it's not this nothing like five percent extra speed for like 10 seconds or five seconds how long it is of the effect it, it's shit it's not gonna do much for you honestly it really fucking isn't <laughs> like an optimal team on gens I feel like negates a lot of killers um, power and if you just have anti loot power you're gonna be fucking easy to gem rush I promise you that now so I feel like most anti loops in this game are like gem pressure let's say trickster and destiny in my eyes they are anti loop they get your whole skill looping so that's anti loop in my eyes um, they have no map pressure at all they're really boring to go against because they get your whole skill they're not fun they may be really strong in 1v1 but when it comes to actually doing 4v1 they're shit but they're not fun to go against, even if you beat them, because you can't really have fun 1v1 one, one in them, because then you get your whole score. And beating them just doing gems, so either way you're not having fun at all for Survivor, you're just doing the gems, which is boring, and you can't really loop them because they didn't get your whole score, so you're not having fun for Survivor. I'm not trying to sound like a Survivor main, by the way, I play both sides equally, you guys should notice. And no one's having fun for Killer. Like, yeah, you can do like 10 second chases probably, but what about your map pressure and gem pressure? It's gone. So you're not having fun either. So no sides having fun here, as I said. That's why I feel like it's a really fucking badly designed uh, thing in this game, and it's a massive flaw in it because no one's having fun, and they're basing the whole power of one v one when the game's a four v one game. What? You see, like the backwards logic there from the devs, and this is the worrying thing. These powers are becoming way more common with up um, upcoming DLCs a lot, which is shitty. Like, look at Nemesis. He's anti loop. But where's his map pressure? It's gone. <laughs> you see? 
a lot of these killers have just become an anti loop over and over, but the devs don't really know what they're doing. The devs think, oh, let's add anti loop killers. That should make killers way stronger, right? Well, yeah, in 1v1, but not actually a 4v1 situation, which is really shitty. Yeah, you can beat teams as anti loop killer, but they're shit teams. Not still anyone's credit, they are shit teams. Because you should not be winning against a strong team as an anti loop killer with no map pressure. Because, what? what? Gems are so easy to push. Look at Trickstar. He's really good in 1v1, I thought. They're buffing him as well. But where's his map pressure? Deathstinger, really good in 1v1. Where's his map pressure? Clown, good in 1v1. Where's his map pressure? Doctor, good in 1v1. Not much map pressure. You see what I mean? All of these anti loop killers, or most of them, I should say specifically, are not good at 4v1 situations, which is the flaw. So, yeah. Anyways, I just wanted to state that and state my own opinion of why I think anti loop killers make no sense in DBD. Because it literally removes the whole 4v1 aspect, I feel, and no sides having fun. All your thoughts and opinions, do you guys enjoy anti-loop killers? Because I definitely do not. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.